Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Let's call this meeting to order of the Clear Lake Marketing Committee. Uh, City Clerk, can I get a roll call, please? Okay, sure. Um, member of Clear Lake Chamber of Commerce, and Gory. Yes, present. Vice Chair Overton. Present. And Chair Claffey. Yep. And um, Member Codling is oh, there's present. Michael. Like present. Oh, beautiful. Can you pause the roll call for 13 seconds, please? Yes. <clears throat> Member McEwen walked in. Yeah, I've heard you talking about me. Mm -hmm. This is only my second meeting. Yeah. And I it. got the, uh, the email notification that was a Zoom link. So I'm like, oh, okay, must be COVID. They're on Zoom. <laughs> so I've been on Zoom and just in time to hear you say, does anybody have Michael's number? <laughs> we say it. I have it at the office. <laughs> but, but luckily, I'm only a few hundred yards away. <laughs> Okay, um, Madam yes. Clerk, if you could continue the roll call. <laughs> Member McEwen. Here. All right. Excellent. Um, at this time, is there uh, any modifications to today's agenda? Hearing none. We have uh, one, right? <laughs> I'll take a, a motion. So move to accept the agenda as presented. Do I have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, let's move on to public comment. At this time, any member of the public looking to address the marketing committee on any matter not on the agenda that is within the subject, subject matter jurisdiction of the city. The Brown Act, with limited exceptions, does not allow the marketing committee or staff to discuss items brought forth under public comment. The board cannot take action on non-agenda items. Concerns may be referred to staff or placed on the next available agenda. Please note that comments from the public will also be taken on each agenda item. Comments shall be limited to three minutes per session. Do we have any public comment in the room? We do not. Uh, <laughs> Madam Clerk, anything on the Zoom? I don't have any members of the public on the Zoom. Okay, great. Colleen, sign on anyone? Colleen's on, but someone came in. So oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. No, problem. no hands raised then. Yeah. 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 No hands raised on the All right. We're going to move on to uh, business. Uh, discussion of areas of focus for 2021. Uh, I'll leave the conversation here. So last time we met, we talked uh, about a couple of different paths that the marketing committee could go down in 2022. Um, where we seem to align is around event marketing. Um, I had a chance to speak with Tina recently, who is really leading the charge from the city's perspective in bringing events to the community. And, and I think this committee should be in a position to support what the city is doing, uh, and then if possible, enhance what the city is doing. Um, so based on the comments from last meeting, um, I put together a bit of a plan uh, that I'd like to share with all of you, get some feedback and um, if, if you, we're all on the same page, Melissa, can, can you give me the ability to share? If we're all on the same page, move forward. At, at some point, you know, I've been given this thought and I have a suggestion but at the appropriate time. Still disabled here. You can win the lottery, Bruno. And now my phone finally decided to connect so that I can actually do things. My SIM card got dislodged, which is why I was shaking my phone like crazy and had to relodge it, okay. if that's a word. Okay. All right. So based on the comments uh, in our last meeting, um, I tried to narrow that down. You know, one of the big things I wanted to stress last meeting was there's five of us. We're all leading different organizations, doing a lot of work. Um, what our focus should be is very narrow and something that's going to create impact. Um, so my thought was this, build a marketing campaign to identify and attract third-party event organizers to the city. 
Very clear to use some words here, third party event organizers. That means we're not running these events. We're finding capable people to do that. Identify and attract. That's a, a key part of marketing where not only are we just saying we need this in the world, we're taking proactive steps to identify the right people and then figure out how to communicate with those people to bring them into the fold. So how we can do this is work in tandem with, with the city to identify the types of events we would like to see as a community, create marketing materials specifically designed to generate potential leads from these organizers that we're going to workshop and, and, and figure out who they are and, and how to talk to them. Um, then once we bring them into our, our funnel, we're gonna guide organizers along that jersey, the journey from ideation of the event to the actual event itself. And my goal is to keep this very narrow to try to execute at least one of these marketing campaigns over the next six months. Now, the, this marketing campaign, we're going to go through a couple of steps. And I thought, all right, I run these types of campaigns often. How do we take the work that we do and, and compress it down to one hour a month with a little bit of homework on the side, leveraging all the talent we have here? And I'll go through that timeline in a little bit, but I think the way I've set it up, it's something that's repeatable. So in this case, we're saying we want to attract a specific event organizer. If phase two, the next six months, we say we want to open up a bike shop here in Clear Lake, but we don't have someone. This campaign can, the, the steps in this can translate to that. So if we want to shift focus, we absolutely can. We're just building up the muscle here to do it as a committee effectively and support the city. So here's how I see it playing out. And if you guys can't see that, let me try to zoom in here. A little bit better. So I tried to break out a timeline based on um, the steps that we need to take and, and the realities of how long things take for an organization like this, right? So January, this meeting, we develop a potential event list for the city to vet. Um, and each meeting for the next six months, I'd like to have a few different components. One, there's a review period. There's a workshop where this is, I think, our strengths. We all have different perspectives. We're going to take the time to, to, to <coughs> brainstorm and, and, and come up with a plan forward. And then some homework. What, what's something that we can all do in our copious amounts of free time uh, <laughs> to move this project along? I, between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., I have time. Oh, so. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you do. <laughs> I have from about 8.15 to 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but I'm lucky if I have that. Exactly. And, and that's the challenge we've had, you know, for the last year and a half is that we all, we all have these big plans, but we're all just so tapped out. We can do this in a way that's scalable, I think. Uh, and if we do it well, well, we'll be able to solicit resources from the city, from the community. Um, really, we just have to show that we're capable of doing this and we're the right ones to lead a charge in a specific area. And I think this plan can potentially get us there with some refining, like no, nothing's perfect as we go along, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to tweak this. Um, so this meeting, again, obviously talk through the plan, but our workshop is gonna be event grading, our homework is gonna be venue marketing copy. Next month, we're gonna come back, Tina and Alan are going to review the list that we put together. They're going to say, all right, these are the four or five events that we could see um, working in our city. We as a group are going to brainstorm. Uh, we're, we're going to say, all right, we're going to focus on one of these events. We're going to brainstorm uh, a target list um, and then start figuring, figuring out what we need to communicate with them. The workshop will be the buyer's journey. So let's, for an example, say, uh, we wanted to bring a 5K to Clear Lake. Um, there is a group of race organizers that already exist. There's a group of timing companies that can profit off of these things. There's a group of, of, of high school coaches that might be interested. So there's three different personas there that we could all target. Our goal is just to find the best one who, who would be interested and want to help out our city. Um, so once we say these are the personas we want to target, what what's that journey like? So we reach out to, to this person. We say, we want you to run an event in our city. 
what are we giving them in terms of material? How are we presenting our city? How are we presenting our venues? How are we talking about it so that it is attractive specifically for their event and specifically for them as an organizer? So that's the buyer's journey, which will workshop. Um, and then some of the homework will be, let's, let's all take some time and write some very specific content that we outlined in that meeting. Uh, March, review some of that mat material. Um, we've, we've talked about the personas and now we have to figure out how we're actually gonna target them. Are there email databases that we can purchase? Are there specific social media sites that it might be um, beneficial to run ads on? Or is it just a social media play where we're out organically reaching out to these folks? Um, the workshop will be really focused on, on how we're gonna reach those people. The homework will then be, all right, we have some of our content. We know where those people are. We're gonna create some ads and some, some copy to, to bring them into the fold. Uh, April, we're gonna launch our campaign. Um, the workshop's gonna be approving the creative that we create so that we can then launch the campaign. The homework will be launching the campaign. April will be that window where we really do this. Uh, May will be reviewing the leads that come in and then beginning the process of nurture, right? So we have someone, they say, I'm kind of interested. We give them the material. They start going down the path. We guide them. We bring them into the fold. We get them what they need so that they walk into Tina's office and sign on the dotted line and make us all very, very happy. So any questions about this? Uh, it, it's a, a rough plan right now, but I think that timeline can work um, for us to at least be in a position to, to finalize a commitment in June, and then we can review how this all played out and, and adjust. Yes. I, I have one too. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, as Tina and I talked about, for example, a circus location, mm -hmm. where can in some of these events your 5K, I, I made a list while you were talking, car shows, circus, speed skiers, fishing tournaments, kite festival, well, sailing regatta. In our discussions, we thought of, okay, here's the facilities we have. Here's the parks we have. Here's, you know, like Highlands Park, very rarely gets used. Okay. What could work there? And that's right. how to figure out how to market it so that Jane Doe or John Doe organization says, this is what I want to do and this is why I want right. to do it here. So this, that's all part of the, the, the building. It, and it's funny because I had talked to the No Name Car Club about having an event at Highlands Park. I've also talked about having a farmer's market at uh, then. So, you know, the, some of the things we're talking where they run it, we just offering, you the, know, as a chamber so, would yes. offer, I'll do all the paperwork to use the, the park. Right. Um, tonight I have a lioness meeting, and one of the things I talked about is sponsoring a 5K run. Um, and one of the things that, like you said, in 5Ks, um, in order to be eligible to run in big marathons, you have to have run in so many small right. ones. My son is actually talking to Mr. Lieberman today at the high school because let's get the athletics. Maybe the high school could sponsor it. Maybe a team could sponsor it. Right. But we're using the resources that we have so that the city or all of us are not being the only ones exactly. to put all the time into it. So you just listed off a few great ideas when we get to our workshop portion. Um, what we're going to do is list off those ideas and then we're going to grade them based on these three criteria. What's the city workload? How much effort will be required from the city? Is this event turnkey? Uh, like the circus, for example, they do they travel constantly. Um, so there's not a lot of work from the city's perspective, aside from making sure that there's a venue in place, right? So that would be pretty turnkey, we'd rate that a five, compared to something like the Soapbox Derby where Tina works tirelessly to, to make that event work. Her fault. <laughs> Won't take um, help. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna grade these based on city workload, the impact to the community, and then economic viability. We, we need to make sure that these events are revenue either neutral or positive. Okay, I would, so. I would also suggest an item on that list be uh, how effective that event is gonna be at attracting outside visitors. Because if it's worm races, it's just gonna be locals and that doesn't market the city. Right, only because that worm race isn't marketed right. 
that worm race has been going on for a long time. I, if we marketed it right, I, it would be. That's, I, will, yeah. I did not mean fair, that in fair point. Way. I just use that as an example of something that would be more likely to attract locals than outside. It's, that's exactly right. Your events versus attraction. Okay, uh, I'll add that as a grade. And when we go events through the list, we can, we can exactly right. review. And David, I don't know if this is the appropriate time or not, but uh, one of the things that I was charged with last year was the bike festival. Mm -hmm. And we determined with Toby uh, uh, that it should be sometime in April. So I looked at the calendar and I was wondering, uh, I just spoke to Toby this week to, for him to get to his type people, his professionals to see what, what would be available. And certainly Easter weekend would not be a good weekend to do it. But uh, I see that Adventist Health has a health fair, something like that going on which would be perfect. Yes, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. It gets it gets kids and families down to participate in health fair, but also to to view some fun. professional type flying and learning to build your own and fly your own. So is that something that uh, I should pursue with him that specifically that weekend? I wanted to, to not not in the confines of this program. Yes, you should pursue it. Like we're all going to be pursuing different really Our great events, activities. Yeah. I think what I want to make clear with this is this is something net new. This is okay. this is us working on pulling off an actual marketing campaign with a very targeted end result. Okay. So this is just last this is just a follow up from yep. last year's right. okay, what I'm doing with the Right. I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, and 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 it doesn't mean that we don't still talk about it here right. after okay. we do this portion of the meeting. Okay. Um, but that would, I just want to restructure it so that yeah. we're just really focused on making an impact. Gotcha. Um, and then of course we all should be informed of, of what's going on. Um, okay. So knowing that that workshop is uh, coming, any other questions about the core idea here, the campaign itself? I want you to go back because there's something I'd like you to add. And I, I'm going to keep pushing this it, events versus attractions. Is there something, an attraction that we could create in the city that will draw people here that it's like the that. attraction in itself? Um, and I've mentioned this before the fountains in the lake, or fountain in the park, or, you know, uh, a gondola going up Baldy, whatever it happens to be. Can we look at the idea or concept of an attraction that is not an event? I did a presentation for some group about my idea of putting in a uh, sundial at the park over there by the chamber office. And, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so so let me. I, I just kind of want to get back into the what this is. Okay, so for the workshop, I'm going to assume that our our first step is going to be one deciding what areas we have to have events nope nope um what i what i want to do for the workshop is let's just be very open let's come up with the types of events we might okay. want to see that list can be 20 events long and then we'll just go through and grade them very quickly okay. um and then decide where they're able to have them at as yeah well. and and that comes down to so city versus, workload as well ver right? versus the event to to where it's going to be able to be set up at because i mean we do only have so many places so that's so i'm looking at that we have to also look at events are really great but the availability of do where they can have it, it is so everybody's going to get this list but while you're making your list I, you know also we have to concentrate on what is really able to happen here yep. with the space that we have and where is it going to happen so mm -hmm. i think as, as people bring their events to the workshop maybe an idea also of the location that they feel is going to be appropriate for it. So yep. while well, everybody's making up their their ideas, you know, so. And, and this is a, a kind of a rough list. Of, <coughs> we all have a ton of ideas. This just allows us to narrow it down. So here are the, the three that we actually think will work that, that would be worth targeting. We'll run it past the city, see if they agree. Um, and then once we get that sign off, we'll go full steam. So my question is, um, are we starting entirely with a clean slate or is this separate from like the uh concerts in the park uh and things that have already been going on like the uh soapbox derby or are we starting from scratch to try to alleviate the uh the workload on the staff already to continue right. to do the the current events that we have 
are we setting those aside and saying those are going to be continued by the city right. mm -hmm. or are we allowing uh, kind of cleaning the slate of all events and saying these are the ones we'd like to see let's see if we can get someone else to take over that, that's actually an interesting question i think the the events that are currently running we're not going to have any impact on over the next six months right now the exercise here is to bring in organizers for a net new event that doesn't mean we can't find a, a potential concert promoter, but we already sort of have that with the radio station, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, we could decide that we want to find a race organizer for the Derby to take over Tina's spot. Um, I feel like existing events would be a little bit tougher to bring someone in um, to fill that role. That's right. more of like a hire than it is an opportunity for someone who is really passionate about this that's not to say that we can't do that in the future uh using this this process but i think right now we should focus but, on that now but is our committee because these are city events so our committee would help create marketing for them no because they're well, city events yes and no yes <laughs> yes and no um you know we, we we generally market because of the organizations and networks we have right I don't think we've done a great job with this committee in particular, having a cohesive marketing campaign for the events that we have. Um, so our choice is, do we just want to market the events we already have or try to bring value and, and bring in that? No, I think we need to market the ones that the cities do now and bring in the others. But so here's my one question that I've kind of wanted to ask. We have, we want to bring in other organizations to do events and, and we need it. we're going to get this policy in place and we know this isn't going to happen per se this year so much. And, and, and that's okay because it takes a year to kind of get things in place. But opportunities for us is, are we going to say, make up some brochures? They, we go to places like the fair down in Sacramento and stuff like that to where we as a group can go with the chambers and down there and help market our city uh, with if we have brochures to hand out so, but if we don't have a brochure something in place to say here's the things that we're, we're looking for or here's the things that will help you with this if you want to do an event here's why we want you to come to clear lake to do your event stuff like that is going to be hard to market outside of the area so i'm thinking are we going to work on something that we can market at, at say the fairs and have a booth at our own fairs and have a booth that the Sacramento Fair, when the, I know the chamber goes down there when they're open, you know, uh, the Lake County Chamber goes down there. We can participate with that. So we absolutely can with the caveat that we believe our target organizers will be there, mm -hmm. right? It's like any marketing channel, right. whether it's social media or Google or fairs, if we think that our audience, that the very specific personas that we're looking for are going to be there, then we're going to go there. We're going to have material. And, and we're going to target them. So maybe one of the things we can all start looking at is what type of events happen in other areas that we can look to market ourselves for these events. I don't know. I don't know and, if there's a specific uh, conference that we would want to be at. So, or is there, so that's our yeah. March workshop. Okay. That's all our right. March workshop right there. Once we say this is the event we're going to do, where are these people? Okay. Are they at fairs? Are they online? Are they constantly running and we have to try to chase them down. Chase them down, okay. So part of my answer, part of my question part possibly got answered. We're only looking to target one. For, for this next six month period, I want okay. to build up the muscle. So doesn't mean we can't expand, but let's, then my, let's do it my, once My question it. in order to really hit on the outreach, because it's going to take some intensive outreach to gather the right people that want to take on these things with our support. Um, you said that the city would pick and choose. Can we have the city dwindle and then have the public choose? Because I think if the public chooses, then it's making sure also that we're providing an attraction that will bring the public mm -hmm. versus just what the city wants to see, because it may not be the same perspective. The city needs to have its say because it can take a lot of resources from the city. Yeah. But at the same time, I think if we put it out there, kind of like how we always do our photo contest surveys, yeah, it, it just agitates the public to want to uh, participate and then know, oh, wow, this is a potential uh, event that'll come and maybe they'll already connect some of the pieces uh, to, to get an organizer for us. You're, you're absolutely on the right track. It's something we've talked about in an effort to keep this narrow and focused. 
I've left that out of phase one. Um, I do absolutely think that the community can play a huge role in identifying organizers, <clears throat> identifying potential events. I think to make this work, I want to keep it internal right now, and I want to I want to pick something that we're confident. And, and possibly with. in the future, if we reiterate the same process in the following years, because I was thinking as you we were reading, I don't know if it's uh, step two or step three for February or March, but like a town hall to say, mm -hmm. here are the potential events that we're going to uh, put together this year. We want to uh, do a proposal of each event, and then you help us vote for which one we should move forward with. Yeah. I think that would really agitate the public and get them to really want to participate. I, the only thing I'm going to share with you on that and is um, it can delay what you're trying to do. Um, I, I'm thinking that I, I agree the public should be involved, but I think the first one or two, if you get someone to do it, you go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Build it and they will come. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Then you get the public excited to get involved and then get them involved. Um, and I'll just share with you, for example, I, I got asked, uh, Bob and Tori Alderman's son owns a, um, two gyms in Sacramento and they sponsor uh, muscle man competitions. And so I had suggested to reach out to his son when I, when they were here a couple months ago about doing one here in Lake County. And the problem with some of the stuff just to share with it, they would do everything but they expect money for this. They expect that the sponsorship would come from someplace, you know. It would be their job to go out and get the sponsorships yeah, right. from um, that ours. But I think they, but I know in fishing tournaments, you have to sponsor either by hotel rooms or some of the prize money or something. If we were to do the speed skaters, you know, I, we can list a number of things where they do everything they show up, they do the whole event, but they want to know that we're either providing rooms or we're providing the, the event for free or we're, you know, and so those have to be identified and what you're doing, what are we willing to. And I think that falls uh, under your grading. planning part. It, it, does. It, it falls under economic viability. Right. Um, you know, we, we have to think through that and say, is this going to be either revenue neutral or revenue positive for the city? We know we don't have a ton of sponsors available so if we're selecting a very sponsor heavy event yeah uh, this is going to get a really good low grade and we'll start calling it so to keep on schedule here uh, i want to move forward to the the workshop portion where um let's actually start coming up with some of those events that we <coughs> would like to <coughs> consider so we'll, we'll spend the next maybe 10 minutes or so hopefully less running through some of these events. Let's just add a list. And then what we'll do is we'll all go around and grade based on those three criteria. Okay. I have one. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we did a, a, the Renaissance Fair. And we did a small one and it was it went over really, really well. Uh, we put it on our south one and we were at the youth center. And uh, uh, I mean, I think that, and I've seen those in other small towns and they bring in people from everywhere because people travel for Renaissance Fairs kind of like they do the, you know, uh, reenactments of the military stuff and wars and stuff like that. Those are, those bring in people from all over and the reenactments are, is another one that I think is, we had a place for that. If we could find a place for that, because that does take space. All right, let's but keep rolling. That is, yep. uh, that brings in people from, I know people in these, in these categories and they travel all over for those particular things. So not only would it bring us an event, but it would bring us revenue to the city, so. Excellent. Good question, I just wanna make sure you're gonna leave me time for my presentation for my idea at the end of this. Okay. Um, well, yeah, yeah my presentation is not like yours, it'll take two minutes. Okay, well, let's let's fire through this um, and then we'll, we'll we'll get to grab some time at the end there for, during the report period. Um, Are we going to put the the, the uh, yeah let's, let's fire the, off. Car, the carnival that we have every year? Is that going to we need to have it on the list anyway? So. No, no, we don't want to have it on the list. Okay, it, it already exists. Oh, it we already have exists. a great organization okay. running. Okay, so we're just going for and new new Sandy Shakespeare on the Lake again. There already exists. Already already exists. Already exists. Yeah. Oh, on good. the calendar. Good. Good. We're already on the calendar. Okay. Kayak just Clear Lake. What is that? Get everybody on a kayak. Get some rentals out there and get people to come over here and just. So what would he built festival and you they do it actually, out in the bay um, all the time. The kayak could be a combination in um, 
an entire thing. You could actually do the small sailboat regattas, a kayak, and and bathtub races. We used to have bathtub races here. Then yeah, we did. Blue Lake Tahoe, I mean, to Blue Lakes. But it was a kick to watch the bath, bath, bathtub races. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we had was, a, remember a few years ago, the water um, people that came in with alternative water devices that were man-powered? There was a bicycle. Oh, yeah, that's what we did that with the Renaissance Fair. We did that with the Renaissance Fair when we did yeah, the Renaissance yeah. Fair. They yeah. came down with that. That's so they were, they were cute. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. but you know, you can take one event Elliot and has. mix them together. Yeah. He's the one that did it with ours. He's the one that put that, he put that part together. Triathlon. Yeah. Why don't we have a triathlon? That, in well, and you could do it the same weekend you did a muscle man or something, yeah, yeah. or have the triathlon. Right. I agree. Yeah, Mike, Mike Grace, the uh, county clear lake chamber gave up, or I maybe mean, it's the rotary. It, it was One the, the rotary two, gave it up. Rotary yeah, yes. gave, gave up donuts. So there's a hole here locally for uh, bike races. Or at least Jennifer Strong mm -hmm. gave it yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, food, food truck gathering. Yeah. Yeah, we had tried to do a food truck. Thursday or a food truck Friday or something. The problem is they're all the same. <laughs> we don't have a well, variety. We don't have that big of a variety in food well, trucks. They're all. Since be marketing in the city, I'm thinking market outside the city. You know, get get the high end food trucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. We'd have to get something else in. besides the local Mexican. Yeah, I'm there's more than that. The there's the there's BLT. Yeah. There's the hot dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's more and more. Joan, you had a, a, a few things that you listed um, off earlier. Yes, I was going to the sailboat regatta, uh, car boat shows. Um, car boat shows? Well, I don't want to do car and boat at the same time. I like yeah. that one. Um, the speed skiers, fishing tournaments. Um, uh, the I had 5K run. I had a bike run. Um, Is anybody doing 14-foot sailboat races? Well, that's there was a company here before um, they were on the lake last year too. Even um, they recently acquired a fourteen foot yeah. sailboat, and it looks like a kick. It is uh, yes. Yeah. Have the ski that's race, the ski sink. competition here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we used to have the speed skiers. Yeah. Everything's kind of stopped since. I know, but so remember we used to have the. The Woody Boat Show here, the ski yeah, racers here, and this well, place was packed with that. Yeah, the, so the Kanaka Vista took a lot of that away. Well, um, we can bring it back. Rock and Jump Show. Um, well, especially since the, the marketing manager of Kanaka Vista Casino is my neighbor. Yeah. What mm -hmm. about so? Like, um, um, I you know, think that going on the green or something, it wouldn't take a lot of staff time, or it wouldn't take a lot of power time, but it one. would take, yeah. you know. People competition. Wanted, it was competition. competition. Would it what would grilling on the green be? It's a, a barbecue competition. It's a barbecue yeah. competition. You would actually, if we had and this comes down to we need restaurants. If you had in a restaurant association that would actually be the your you because he's talking about getting someone else to do the events. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So you have to look when you're doing this, who can we get that'll run the events instead of a hand? Well, that's why we're, we're going to list them all, and then like we can go through and say who's going to do these things. would be something that would be nice if your restaurant associations or your... I had actually talked to the culinary guy mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. college right. that right. they would get involved right. if... Mm -hmm. Robert, right. uh, yeah, he's been wanting to do yeah. something like this for a long time. And that's time. a great idea. Um, I was going to do, do the, with the like wine the and, and have wine and grilling on the green at the same time or beer. Uh, Colleen Lee is working uh, with someone possibly to have a jazz festival. Um, and uh, Oktoberfest, we used to have the chamber put on an Oktoberfest for several years. He's got Harvest Fest yeah. up there, so and it's the same thing. Somebody same. just asked us the other day if, uh, what happened to the Blackberry Festival. I'm just going to say, the Blackberry Festival was a big thing at, at Anderson Marsh. Right. And I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like the Pear Festival, mm -hmm. except for it was Blackberries. And I mean, that place was packed the whole mm. time, but they... They just don't have the help down there right. anymore. So if we can well, find somebody to do that. It's now a state park, too. Yeah, yeah. well, that's and, true. And it was yeah. not a state park when, when, right. when but, we used but to do the, it. So the Blackberry Festival was a big, it was a big thing. Battle of the Bands. Yes, Battle of, Battle the, bands, of the Bands, absolutely. Um, and Ultimate then Frisbee. I like his idea. Of, I was just talking, one of my one of my workers does the uh, Frisbee, uh, the disc, the disc, no. disc Frisbee. No. And they have competitions yeah. on that. And no. I, uh, yes, there is a lot of disc golf here locally, which right. is a good lead in. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about yeah. this other frisbee game called Ultimate Frisbee. It's played on a, like a soccer field. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since we have a field here, we could use. Um, and and I don't know. Um, this sounds crazy. Is a dog show. No, dog shows are actually I've been An working with somebody to do a dog show dog for show the senior a, center. A specific <laughs> breed dog show even. Um, okay, two minutes, folks. Okay. We got busted. We already got 30, so yeah. we're in a good okay, position. Okay, we've got three more things. I like his sundial idea, and I really am going to, I know we've talked about the fountains on the lake, but I think it has a two role is to break up the lake. But I like the sundial idea that he's talking about. And again, that's an, an attraction versus an event. Right. Attraction, right. Yeah, the sundial yeah. I'm suggesting is something significant. That's uh, kind of like the sundial bridge in Reading. It's become a tourist destination. Right. And that's, yeah. and I think to I me, actually went there. That yeah, right. is something it is. that, that is we should be looking at as well mm -hmm. is yeah. what is going to, um, we get hit all the time. I mean, every time a visitor comes in, what is there to do? What is there to do in Lake County? We all know as people that live here, there's not, I mean, we're always talking the number well, of meetings we go to. There's a lot to do, but it's not that there's something to do. And that's the difference between a lot to do and something to do. Uh, this is, we talk about Sundial. I think this is one of my big ideas. I want to really push this as time goes on. Maybe we can do something with it. Star party. Star party. I do astronomy. Star parties are huge. There's only two in the state. One in Southern California, one uh, up in Aden on Mount yeah, Lassa. Perfect place. For Hundreds us. of people come. The city turns out to support how many people are there. It's uh, it can be and, and you know that the Taylor Observatory is working on getting us a federal designation as a dark sky location, mm -hmm. and there are only a few in the country. Mm -hmm. All right, that's okay. we're at, we're at thirty. The only other thing I wanted to note uh, was art. So we talked yes. about art in our last meeting. No one mentioned any art focused. Well, I seen it up there, so I didn't say anything. But I, I just I just put that as a placeholder. Um, I think are there any have. organizations out there that you think would bring something to this area? And what would that be? So the Art Council used mm -hmm. to be, I mean, if, if you could do an art festival where think, all the artists and, and think outside of our borders, though, right? Because we that's one entity. Art, there, there's art everywhere and there's people who are doing great events in different places. Is there a way that we could proposition them to come here to do something either similar or different? Or I think that, I think that it, it's okay to think outside of our area, but I think at that point, there needs to be some resources that they would be able to receive for coming into the area right. to do these That's types of events. And that, that, so that becomes a, more like a fishing a, tournament issue mm -hmm. uh, rather than I think if it's an internal group that can at least get it started or maybe eventually it can reach outside. I think those internal groups would be willing to do it out of the kindness of their love and passion of what they're already involved in to yeah. at, at least provide something to get get the ball rolling. I, I would argue that if they had the passion for the particular event that we're suggesting, they would have already done it because they're here, right? What we're trying to find are folks who have found a way to, to either monetize or make these events successful in a way that they could expand in our market. I, I, and then they could have the support of the different right. local. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slightly disagree with you. I, I agree, but at the same time, their focus isn't always events. And I think that we can always plant seeds and say, hey, you know, you've been supporting the arts in the classroom. You've been supporting the arts to get local artists to put stuff in, in galleries. What if you came outside and, and did something outside and, and really brought art to the public? And I think that some people don't always think in the event category versus more of their, their, their idea itself of, and just never expanded into it. I think we can plant seeds locally uh, and also seek things outside too. That's fair. Similar yeah. to what Middletown did uh, with their uh, garden, uh, their art walk, their park mm -hmm. that's got all the little sculptures on it. Um, if we had something that we did similar to that. And again, that's an attraction versus an event. And, uh, it's almost like what uh, what's her name? It's not Bonnie. Um, right off of Alveda. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know the, the garden area yeah, there. Yeah, the garden. So, yeah. Yeah, and actually, um, they tried several times to get people who had um, garden um, 
yards to join in and like a garden yard trail. Yeah, yeah, that was like a CC4C right. fundraiser. Yes, I remember, right? yeah. And, um, so, and I think that's what Dave was trying to say is, is maybe we do need to look out because we have people trying to do these things and they haven't had success. So maybe we can find somebody that's had success someplace else and talk them into coming here and, and doing an, an art, whatever, whatever type of thing is because they haven't had a lot of success. And maybe they know something that these people don't know. And it's not that they can't join in and do things with the, whoever comes in. I'm sure anybody that comes in here is more than willing to take some local help and, 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 and interest. So- Napa um, Valley does two events like that. There might be examples. One is, uh, it's a garden crawl, basically. I don't forget what they call it, but people with fancy gardens, get on, you get a map, you pay a price, you get right. a map and you go from place to yeah. place. And another one is uh, gardens and art is open studios <clears throat> where uh, small artists open their private studio up for a day. And you, again, you pay a price, you get a map, maybe get a wine glass and, uh, and you go see all these different studios. Right. Right. I can tell you something stupid that Fairfield does. Well, we'll we're going really down the, the art path here and we have well, 30 different at. things here. Um, well, we know that the art is something we want to <laughs> right. do. So, okay. so we have that as That's a potential. That's why I didn't mention it. it. <laughs> um, so I think the best way, we have a lot here. I think the best way to, to, to move forward with this is to turn this into a bit of homework for us. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this spreadsheet. Uh, we've all talked about all these events. Uh, I'm going to share this spreadsheet, the slide, um, and, and some guidance. And then over the next week, if you could just go through and rate it based on these three characteristics, send it back to, to Melissa, and we will she will sort it and, and work with Tina and Ellen to give us a top five list or so uh, for our next meeting. Does that sound good? Yes, thank you, because I was going to ask you if you could send that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do it. I think be, that's a, yeah. a mm -hmm. good path forward. Yeah, I think um, you're right. I think that is, I mean, I think everybody's got great ideas and we want to do all these wonderful things. I uh, uh, And I think that's great. It's how they're going to happen. Remember, we're all busy. Yeah. You're all busy. Unless you want to add an extra 20 hours a week to your, your schedule, <laughs> we uh, need to figure out how to do this in a scalable yeah. way. Okay? I agree. So I'm going to uh, get, so... With my time on, I'm going to tweak it a bit. The homework is not going to be venue marketing copy now. The homework is going to be this grading sheet. Um, if you can get that back in the next week, that will allow uh, Tina to, to do what she needs to do to, to prepare us for next meeting. Does that sound good to everyone? Yeah. Well, yeah. Why, can't, why can't we do the venue thing, you too? It doesn't seem like much. Bruno is just a go-getter here. Um, we absolutely can. Let me let me let me give you a quick briefing on it. Um, so my thought was this: um, we have a, a great packet that we're going to evolve. The first step in in attracting these hosts is to show them that we have facilities. Now, now right now we don't know specifically what hosts we're attracting, but it doesn't mean we can't start the work on shining a spotlight on the great facilities that we have. Um, so what I'm thinking is a 30 word description of a particular place, whether that's Austin Park, whether that is uh, the Masonic Lodge, whether that is the community center, uh, 30, a 30 word description of what it is, uh, examples of the type of events that can be hosted there, just spitball, um, some details around capacity. So how many people can, can you have in the venue uh, for the senior center, for example, <clears throat> The park is a little bit different. You can have thousands parking, the different amenities, utilities, restroom, and then fees. Um, where I really love to have the community support here and, and the committee support is really developing these 30, 300 word descriptions um, that just paint these venues as the, the, the choice places, the jewels of Lake County. Um, so that was my thought. I'd love to assign this out. Um, and have everyone do three, four, or five uh, before the next meeting if if, if uh, you guys want to move forward with this. Bruno's like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to add okay. I, I, you know, I'm going in for surgery on my arm, uh, so <laughs> pipe is going to be a problem for a while. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, and you El Grande. Um, <laughs> you get to type it out. <laughs> Uh, Gillip's working for under private facilities, put El Grande. Okay. 
Uh, Smallies, I understand they have a major roof problem, um, and I don't think you can do anything until that's fixed. That makes sense. Um, and um, what's up, Andrew? The hotel, Best West. Best West. West. Oh. And so just to be clear, guys, we have a hard stop at three. Um, so let's take this list as our first list. Yeah. Um, does anyone want to volunteer to, to cover any of these? Everyone's going to have to yeah. pick uh, two or three here. So chime in. Like, what do you mean? So what, what I would like, Joan, if, if you're assigned Austin Park, Red Park, and Highland Park, what I'd like for you, from you before next meeting is a 30-word description of what that venue is through the lens of a, an event manager. I guess I could do the Sorry, 300, 300. I'll take I could do the community center. Um, you can take what? Vineyards. <laughs> can you email the list to me so I don't have to write it? Well, you can send the yeah. list to us, right? <laughs> I will. Um, Stephanie, you're taking vineyards. Mm -hmm. I'll take three parks. Um, I'll take the private uh, facilities since I know all of them. Maybe I could proofread, help proofread uh, the write ups. Yeah, he knows how bad I spell. <laughs> I'll send them to you then. <laughs> Read to him that. I'm going to give you the boat ramps as well, Bruno, since that's. Yeah, boat ramps park, are key. Park and you might want to also list any. Um, you know what? Uh, we have. A, a... Well, I think let's start with this. We can absolutely add to the list. I agree with you. Um, well, but I was I... wondering if we can also add to the event idea list. As we all go home, we might have other good ideas. Can we send them to you to add to that list? Um, potentially. I think we have an, enough that we can at least grade for the first phase and pick one. But right. yeah, send them to us and, and, and that will be great or for phase two. Something to close and add to it. <laughs> that was the answer. Exactly. Um, okay, so this is great. I, I will send this list out to everyone uh, as well so you know what your assignments are. Stephanie, um, on the vineyards. Can I? Oh, yeah. yeah, Stephanie oh, said vineyards. Didn't see that, sorry. Um, I was going to add one other thing you're not just to the thought is um, under um, campgrounds that might be available. And I only reason I put that is that we've, uh, uh, it's, we just had someone say, what campgrounds can we bring in a large group? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, um, because it was somebody that wanted to bring in like 30 campers. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's keep that for part two. I think yeah. everyone has a, enough on their plate right now um, for homework. I like it. Thank you for talking, Bruno. Appreciate it. All right. I don't want to waste a month. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's, uh, unless there are any other um, comments on this item, seeing that we're at time, any public comment on this item? <laughs> Poor guys just came in. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to um, reports, and I'll start with you, Michael. Report. We, well, you said you had something. You it's not on the agenda, so this might be the the, oh, the part to talk yeah, about. Well, at the last meeting, and it was my first meeting, and maybe I'm already in here a year too late to be a part of. I don't know, but at the first meeting I went to, the last meeting, you said that you wanted to look for. Uh, opportunity to market the city that leverages all the skills of our committee members. And the only skill I have really is web. So I took a look online and there doesn't appear to be a Visit Clear Lake website. There's the Chamber website, it has its own mission marketing. And there's the city's website and it has its own mission marketing. But we don't have like, if you're gonna to go to a hotel, cheap hotel somewhere, the pictures look gorgeous and they get to there and it's a flea bag. But we need, I think we need a website that's a Visit Clear Lake website that puts our city in a really positive light and markets to what we talked about at the last meeting, uh, why somebody would want to buy a home here, why somebody would start, start or want to move their business here, and uh, why people would want to visit our city. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be the three messages of the website. And then visitclearlake.com is purchased by a domain investor in India. We could see about getting it. But visitclearlake.com with a hyphen is available for 12 bucks or whatever. So that's my idea. How about the downtown Clear Lake? Yeah, can we thinking, put that maybe, already on there? Already that on that can absolutely uh, use some work. I think there, there's, um, I think part of the content that we're creating here as well could feed into populating a site like that or work in conjunction with it. 
let, let's talk more about that because I'm working on something with Alan uh, as well to promote the city. So, so where does visit like Kelseyville fit into the TID? Is it completely separate and it's part of the Kelseyville Business Association and not the TID? Because it kind of feels like it's, it's got a lot of similarities and uh, just kind of wondering where that is. Is that something that we should be uh, partnering with the chamber in creating that kind of a thing? Or is that something that's, I don't know, just putting it out there as far as what others uh, are doing outside of uh, the area? As, as, as far as I know, it's separate from the TID. Right now, the TID, the only website that they host and run is Visit Lake County. Um, it doesn't mean that the other websites don't take elements from that, mm -hmm. but there's, <coughs> they are completely separate. Yeah, Middletown has their own web page. It's done by the Middletown Association. Uh, Kelseyville's is done by the Kelseyville Merchants. Uh, Clear Lake Oaks has a page. Uh, it's the Clear Lake Oaks Business Merchants. Um, I don't know, and I think Upper Lake has an Upper Lake page. And um, the, we probably, whether it's through the chamber or the city, there should be something that is a when you look at the city, what it's very good for city business. Um, but he's right in far as maybe marketing um, the city and advertising of real estate or schools uh, type of thing should be maybe more a, a visit Clear Lake or visit Clear Lake and stay or something, you know, uh, um, and <clears throat> finding the right domain name. And it doesn't have to be a .com. It could be a .net or, you know, we could look at net versus com. And well, I would argue that we don't have a website problem. We have a lack of content problem. Mm -hmm. right? well, it's one well, thing to have a domain. It's yeah, that's very problem. true. Well, I was thinking uh, there's already really good content on other websites around the county. And we could just load some of that content as I frame. I'm sensitive to the idea of one, I don't want to fill myself with more work and there were a committee <laughs> you're supposed to be sharing in it. Right. So if we use the iframe to load content from the other websites, but in the appropriate places on a visit Clear Lake website where the focus and the mission is clearly just to attract visitors and people who move their business here and buy a house here. Mm -hmm then uh, that would reduce our workload. We have some pretty front page stuff, uh, three pages about these three mission items and uh, maybe an events or whatever area that's uh, fed from the other websites. Mm -hmm. Could the first step be consolidating that content, the stuff that you think is just out there? Um, if we can start bringing that in, start seeing what's available to us and that make, make this project less wieldy, right? Like if we, you said there's a lot that's already out there. Well, there's like the Bloom calendar. I don't know what, I'd have to you know, go look and see that there's calendars that are out there that we could port onto our website. So we don't have to have one of our committee members actually listing current events because other websites are already listing events. So mm -hmm. we can just port them over. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's put this uh, on the agenda for next week and we can talk about it. Or sorry, next, next month. month. Um, and we can talk about it further. Any other reports? Maybe some samples of what you think would be good for the for us to create the, our own or bring into what we already have. Yeah. Like just not a whole bunch, but you know, just maybe something you can grab and say this is on this website, that's on that website. And so I'm not looking at all the websites. So <laughs> I do not have time for that. <laughs> okay, so just a few minutes, good. guys. We have three minutes uh, left. Any, anything else? Good. Pertinent that Are we gonna have... Other than to say thank you, I think yeah. what you did was uh, correct and giving some guidance here. So yeah. thank you. Well, well, I, I was reflecting that what Joyce's idea was the last meeting was to create a packet for uh, people that are coming to do events so that all their paperwork is in one place. So mm -hmm. I didn't see that on this plan. It's it's I not part it's of phase one. Down but part okay. of it is creating the content that will fill that packet. And I think if we, we approach this in a way where we are, are looking at the first phase of the buyer's journey, then the nurture piece comes later and, and all that fits in. As and we have an events in. packet. We do. Have yeah. And if we can Everything just that make that a digital packet, then oh. there's a smile underneath here that's happening. <laughs> I was thinking there, there, is, there is no digital anything when it stone comes tablet. to creating events right now. You literally have to walk in in order to get the packet and fill it out because you need to ask questions too. Uh, having that digital process in the long run, I think will really be helpful uh, to help. Absolutely. Helpful yeah. to help. Well, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time and your feedback. Um, I will send this stuff out. Oh, yes. Yeah.
Okay, budget wise for this committee, hundred thousand. <laughs> Are you going to give it to us? We'd be happy. To take it. We'll be happy to take it. So you heard Bruno That's say great. he's going to give us a hundred thousand dollars. So, but I do think we need to uh, look at that. At what what we need to do is is put together a plan yeah. that describes how we're going to use that right. budget. That's what I was going to say. At some point in time, I just kind of want it on your radar. Right. Meeting is adjourned, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.